Hey everyone, today I thought we'd take a look at how to make a custom folder for all your favorite effects and transitions in FCPX. Wouldn't it be great to have a very quick way to get to your most commonly used effects and transitions? Well that's what I'm going to show you today. Instead of digging through or typing in your most commonly used effects, I'll show you a faster way. So you see here we have created a favorites effect bin and you can see some of the most used effects that I have here. Uh, you have Gaussian Blur and uh, the Alex 4D Grown Shrink plugin, which I use almost on every edit. If you don't have that plugin, I really suggest you download it. And as you can see, I've also created a transitions folder for my favorite transitions, which I've labeled one faves. The reason I put a one in front of it is so it will be at the top of the list, so I don't have to scroll down to find it. And I suggest you do that if you want to have it at the top, it just makes it easier to get to. So here in your movies folder, you'll find your Final Cut Pro templates and project files and backups. This is also where your effects and presets are saved as well. And they'll be under motion templates. If you don't have motion installed, that's okay. It'll end up in your FCPX folder and you can get to that in the same way via movies. So you can see here it's under movies. And you can see here you have compositions, effects, generators, titles, transitions. The effects that you want will be under the effects folder. And basically you can go to any of your effects. First, you gotta create a favorites folder. In this case, I have a label faves, which you can see here. And then what you do is you go to whatever effect you want. For example, you can see here, I've already copied over Gaussian blur. And you can see here the Gaussian copy. And basically any effect you can copy over into your custom faves folder. And let me show you how to do that now. And like I said, you can copy over any effect and paste it into the uh, customs bin that you've created. And then when you go into Final Cut Pro, it'll be, there'll be a copy of it. Makes it much easier to find. I hope this helps you save some time. I know it's helped me immensely. And I'm sure that Final Cut at some point We'll add this ability to create a customs folder. We'll see what the next update brings. So that's it for today. Uh, like this video if you found it useful and please subscribe and share it uh, with another editor if you think they will get some benefit from it as well.